Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Tuesday, craft day. Well, I'm sorry I didn't see you Friday, but I did get my uh, vaccination, it's shot number one. <laughs> and I knew I'd had it in my arm. The arm was a little sore for a couple of days and of course I had it in my left arm, that's the one that sticks out the window and I'm left handed. But actually it was fine and I'm just thankful to have been able to um, get my first dose. So, onwards and upwards. Today, we're going to be working on a bicycle rim. I have never done a bicycle rim before. I've, this, I think I've said this the last three videos I've made. I've never done. I've never done. I've never done. But very honestly, um, I haven't been doing wreaths that many years. I was primarily a paper crafter. I do love them and of course if you're a crafter you like crafting everything. I have talent in some but I've seen some other people. Um, one of the folks that's on my Facebook page and you need to stop over if you haven't been to my Facebook page and I'll leave the link down below in the, in the uh, discussion. And one of those folks said that she got tired of making wreaths that day or didn't have supplies or something so she decided to do a little painting and it's gorgeous work just gorgeous uh, and so those uh, people I think are really have talent we have fun doing what we do too and you know I know that some people have um, more abilities in certain areas than others but you know what I have always said there is never a bad craft project only a unique design so regardless if you've ever done something before, give it a try. I'm going to take you down to the desk and we're going to see what we can do with a bicycle ring. I got this from Deco Exchange. First time I ever got anything from Deco Exchange. Um, but they were the only ones at the time I was looking for bicycle frames, bicycle rims that had them. So uh, I'm going to take you down and we're going to do this according to I did look at some videos and I'm following somewhat a tutorial that Julie Samako did over at Southern Charm Wreaths. Now you talk about talent folks. This lady has talent coming out of her little fingers. But anyway I'm going to have fun making this and we're going to make something that's just plain gorgeous. So I'll be back in just a minute and we'll get started on a bicycle frame. All right, here we are down at the desk. Now I have a piece of cardboard under this for right now so I don't get glue all over my mat. And another piece here that's between my glue pot, which isn't quite showing up here. Okay, I can maybe even move it over a little bit. And the frame, because I don't want to um, drag it all over the table either. Okay, we're going to start by looking at this frame and we're going to find a place where the spokes are closer together. You see how far away these two spokes are? But see these two spokes are closer. See the difference? And I have a piece of foam here. This is the florist foam, the dry stuff. And I'm going to, it, this mine is uh, one two, three, four, four, four and a half by one by maybe not quite three. And I'm going to take this foam and I'm just going to try to lay it on this frame right where these two come together. right like about here and I'm just going to push down not too hard okay now when I take this up there's going to be two marks so what I'm going to do now is put some glue right along those two marks And I'm going to put it right back on where I just had it and push it down. Okay. 
and it is in there. We'll add just a little bit more to the top. And I'm going to add a little of this moss on here while it's still wet. <laughs> this makes such a mess. But it will look nice on here and help hide some of this. And I have these two little sticks came off of something that we'll use to help push this down. This will help cover up a little of this. The front will be covered up by the florals, I hope. going to reinforce this with a couple of these florist pins. And these are the ones that look like you. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do is put the bow on. And I have this great ribbon that I had for a while, but it's absolutely perfect for this. Look, with the bicycles. So let me give this a little dovetail at the bottom. And I think I'm going to have it right about here. So let's measure like about this far down. I'm going to pinch. And I'm going to make a 12 inch loop, which is a 6 inch loop. Okay. I'm going to twist it. And I'm going to make another. I'm 
twist it and make a third. And I'm going to do a zip tie first because I like to make sure it's going to stay nice and tight. guys. Slide on in there. Well, it's just going to be obstinate. Here we go. But then I'm going to take a piece of wire I'm going to wrap it around it and I'm going to twist the bow and what I'm going to do is twist it until I've twisted myself a bit of a tail. See that? So now we're going to put this in the glue without getting the ribbon in the glue. And I'm going to put it right down in the middle of that foam. dovetail this other end. Okay. Alrighty. I think I'm going to start with this bush here. And this is called something. Doesn't have a name. I guess it's not important. <laughs> but I'm going to take these off. To start with. And I want to really just Give it a little shush, and I think what I'm going to do is take these bottom two off. We can use that later. And I'm going to put that right in the bottom here. Get another one. And 
you gotta, you know, you gotta fix these around a little bit and give them a little life. And some of these are a little bit hard to get in because they're um, not heavy. So what I'm going to do, I don't have a um, pick machine, so I'm going to have to make a little hole somehow in there. get that in. Alright, that looks pretty good so far. I'm going to put the rest of these in. so far. Now I have these beautiful pale pink oh here it is here. These are a Gerber Daisy but it's really pretty. So we're going to put some of those in.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Glue City. use them all because they're just too pretty not to. One more down this way, I think. Like that. Okay, now I've got a few of these darker pink ones I'm going to put in between. I think they'll be pretty. just found out where I was. <laughs> bugger boo. One more of these. Maybe over here. And the inside, I think. That is pretty, huh? Isn't that coming out nice? <clears throat> now I have these little blue ones. Because if you look at the ribbon, it has blue. The bicycle is actually blue. So I'm going to try a couple of these just to give a little contrast.
that's pretty. I'm not talking much. <laughs> Creating. Creating. One down here. Needs one down here. <coughs> um. I need anything maybe a few of these little greens <coughs> oh, excuse me this is a Gerber bush without the daisy more of these and I'm going to call it done. Julie would find places for <laughs> 35 more pieces but I don't know how to do that. call that done. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to take it up and put it on a hook upstairs. Whoops. So you all can see it, how pretty it is. I'll be back in just a minute. There you go. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love it. And it's just, it wasn't that hard. And that a little piece of foam holds all those flowers. Get you a little closer. Very pretty. Here you go. Try something new. You might even surprise yourself. Whoops, I ran into the bed. Let me just stop for a second. I'll be right back. So there you go. A bicycle form, a bicycle rim wreath. You know, it wasn't that hard. I liked the uh, tutorial. Like I said, I watched Julie Samako. 
I, I'm sorry I, I will be picking glue off my nails for the rest of the afternoon but anyway I like the tutorial she did she did a very nice job and I felt comfortable in following those directions I hope if you liked it you'll give me a thumbs up share it tell your friends about the channel I'm still trying to grow it and I will be back with you on Friday and I'm not sure what I'm doing Friday we might do a little something different uh, I'm going to be organizing my baking cabinet and I might take you along for the organization I, I have somebody here who wants to say hello Chelsea you want to say look over here look Chelsea look up here look over there Oh well, almost. Let me see if I can give you a little peek. There she is. Isn't she pretty? Huh, are you the pretty girls? Yes. So anyway, this is crafting with the group. <laughs> I will see you Friday. And until then, everybody stay safe. Wash your hands, wear your mask, keep your distance, play by the rules, and everybody play nice now. Kitty's purring. I'll see you Friday. Love you. Bye-bye.